singer, songwriter, and Nashville recording artist out of Mingo County, West Virginia. I first started singing when I was about two or three years old. Uh, my grandmother, she traveled a lot and would sing at a lot of different revivals and, and churches here locally. And she started taking me uh, with her on a lot of them. And we would go even up to the nursing home here in Williamson. And she would just set me up on a stool and, and give me a microphone and I would just, you know, sing right along with her and that's kind of where I got my start singing. I kind of started getting a lot of reaction um, when we would go on vacation and my mother would, um, she would always want me to do karaoke tapes and stuff for her and I would go in the booth and people would start stopping and they would want to know who was singing and start asking questions, you know, who I was and, and was I with a label or anything like that. So when that stuff started happening, I kind of thought, well, maybe this might be something that I need to pursue. What I like about what I do, I love um, getting to meet people. Uh, I love getting to hear their stories. I, I enjoy performing for them. Um, I used to be really nervous when I took the stage, but now, I mean, it, it drives me crazy to not, <laughs> to not have a show or, or not, not be performing. Um, just, just the music in general. I, I love everything about it. The songwriting, getting to share a little bit of myself. Uh, recording, I love recording. In the studio is where I'm most happy um, because I, I feel like uh, I can really put in a lot of work and a lot of time and really give my fans the best of me. I've been working on this album for about two and a half years and I am I'm very proud of it because it's uh, it's all me. Um, every song on the album I've co-written with my producer and other co-writers and I'm finally starting to sing Morgan <laughs> and, and getting to do the stuff you know that I, I wanted to do and um, so I, I'm just you know I'm excited to get this album out there it, it's been a long road and I'm grateful for every step that I've, I've had to take to get to where I'm at now The songs on this album uh, one of the first songs that I got to write for it uh, was a song called Second Chance it's a very special song um, for me. Uh, my my co-writer and my producer, Bo Fuller, he had his reasons for writing the song and I had mine. Um, and you know, it, it just talks about your second chance. Sometimes you get a second chance and sometimes you don't get a second chance. You might lose that person. Um, but thankfully, I got my second chance. Uh, so that song, it it's, always stands out for me on this album because I enjoy singing it and it's kind of one of my little special songs, you know, that uh, I, I can look back on and, and know exactly what I wrote that song about. There's so many songs on this album that they're really going to appeal to everybody. I think there'll be a song on there for every individual. Move Your Body is a great, up-tempo, catchy, line dancey kind of song. I mean, that's what we wrote the song about. We had um, come in for our songwriting session that day and Bo had asked me, well, what'd you do last night? So I told him, I said, well, I went to the Wild Horse uh, and learned to line dance, which I'm not the best dancer, but we line danced and we had a wonderful time and I, I came in the next day and uh, was telling him about it and he was like, I've got this awesome, you know, up-tempo, up catchy little uh, melody and he was like let me play it for you so we just started writing a song and the the chorus started coming and it just kind of bloomed from there and um, Bo Fuller and Cece Dubois and um, we wrote the song and um, we knew after we wrote it that we had a, a good you know uh, possibly a hit on our hands something that's going to make people want to turn up their radio t-shirt kind of guy um, I wrote about, you know, my t-shirt kind of guy. I'm a West Virginia girl and all the guys around here are t-shirts and blue jeans and it's very laid back, you know, country boy kind of life and that's really what I, I wrote t-shirt kind of guy about. Um, fast as I can. It's my cookie cutter, all American country song. We wrote that song in my living room, me and Bo, after the Keith Urban after party and I had a blast writing it. It came so easy and I mean the song just, we probably had it done in, in maybe two hours. It was a, a good songwriting session and fast as I can I enjoy singing it on stage. It's, it's uh, a good word would probably be skippy. <laughs> maybe you could use to describe it. Um, come and get me. Come and get me is my sassy, flirty, 
country song. I kind of call it country reggae. Um, Come in the, the session and, and Bo had a, another great melody. And I knew when he played it for me that this was a song that I wanted to do. It was different. I hadn't heard anything like it on the radio. Um, and I, 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 I like doing that. I like setting myself apart from other artists. And I, I want them to hear my song on the radio and know that it's me. Um, so this whole album, I mean, every song on it is really going to appeal to, to different people. Um, like I said, Second Chance is one of my favorites, um, but I, I've just recently wrote a new one called Sad and Lonely, and the melody to this song is, it's fantastic. The first time that we played the melody, I had to catch myself because I kind of wanted to cry a little bit. We'd been waiting for a long time to write the love song for this album. And a lot of people look at the title and they'll say, well, Sad and Lonely, it's not a love song, but it is a love song. It's my love song. There's a lot of times in this business that you come home and you want to cry and, and you want to give up, um, but you always have that person there that you can run to and, and they're kind of your shoulder to cry on. There was a particular line in the song that always sticks out to me and it says, uh, when tears fall and life hits you like a sad song. It's a very powerful line in the song and it's one that always sticks with me. So sad and lonely um, is, is one that I am I'm probably most excited about putting out there. I'm, I'm so thrilled to get this new album out there. I have worked on it for so long. I've worked on it for two and a half years. Um, and I, I just can't wait to put it out there for people. And I'm constantly writing new songs, constantly getting new ideals. Um, the songwriting is, is something new to me. I, I started songwriting probably about four or five years ago. I had never done it until then. And um, then I kind of just got a knack for it and, and picked it up. And, um, but definitely, you know, a lot more stuff from me. I've got a couple surprises up my sleeve.